Back in episode 189, we looked at saving individual attributes with Stimulus.js, and this methodology worked really well. However, this was before Hotwire came out, and so that also means it was before Turbo. So it is a bit dated, but this episode touched on some really neat things, and I want to have a revisit to this in a modern Rails 7 application with Hotwire. So in our Rails application, we can come to some posts, we can create a new post, and I'll just give it a title, and then we'll create the post. So nothing here is happening with Hotwire as far as saving individual attributes because we are creating a new post, so there would be nothing to update. So that's going to be important as we dive into this. But if we create our post and then edit it, we can see if we just make a change to our title, and then if we go back up to the post so we don't hit the save button, then it already has updated it. And so that's going to be an interesting look because it's also going to work for both checkboxes and also the text area and really any other kind of form attribute. And our goal is going to be able to do this as unobtrusively as possible. So there are a few different approaches and I think I have honed in on the one that I like the most because you wouldn't necessarily want to do this in a edit post form like this you would want to actively click the update post. However, if you had some kind of dashboard where you wanted to then just have users enter in some information and have it automatically persist, for example, like a notes field on a dashboard, then you wouldn't want them to have to hit the save button every time. You would want it to just automatically save it whenever they change the text area or the field. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.